Hello everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. Last week we started our very first open robotics for a Scara robot project in BNR. This week we're going to continue on that project. What we're going to do is we're going to actually change some of the configurations of our controller, change some of our cyclic timing and tolerances on that, and then we're also going to get into G-code and we're going to create a new folder and make our first G-code project. It's going to be really exciting. Let's get ready to jump into this. All right, here's where we left off last week. Go ahead and close out of the hardware designer. Then right click on the X20CP0484 and click on configuration. First thing we want to do is we want to go to the module system, explode that, and we want to go to this minimum user partition size. Change that from 0 to 10. Next we want to go down to our system, explode that. We want to activate USB install. Get to on and then what we want to do is we want to go to resources and then we're going to go click on cyclic task classes and go to cyclic number one change the tolerance from 10,000 microseconds to zero and then change the IO output delay from no delay to delay at end of cycle Next, what I want to do is I want to go to the FTP server and make sure that's on. It is. Then go to the OPCUA system and let's just turn that on as well. Let's go back up to file devices. Just open that up here and then explode the file device one. And first, what we need to do is we're going to make a simulation path for this. So what we're going to do is open up a folder on your computer and then go to your C drive and let's create a new folder called CF. CF. And then just open that up and then let's create another file in there. New folder I should say. Called first open robot. And then just open that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up a text editor like Notepad++. That's what I'm going to use here. So go ahead and, and open up Notepad++. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some G code. This is actually the code that's going to move the robot. So to start it off, you, you use the percentage sign. And you do 001. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a while loop. So while, while, got to do a dollar sign while one is equal to one and then we're gonna do n01 n020 n030 and then m30 and then let's go back up whoops and we'll do g100 Q2 equal to 10, whoops, 10. And then we'll go down to the next move. G0, X equal to 800. And then we'll go back to the last move. G100, Q1 equal to zero. Q2 equal to zero. Q3. QZ, it's our z-axis, equal to zero. And then QC equal to zero. And then what we'll do is we'll have this end the while loop. And, oops, and while, just like that. And then the M30 is, is going to close this. So this is a very basic program. G100 is a rapid move. And it's going to utilize all the all the axes of the robot to move it to that position. A G0 call is, is going to just move an absolute move in a single linear move. And then the G100 is going to have it all move back to where it began, basically home. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that to that folder system that we created. So go ahead and hit File, Save As. And what we're going to do is we're not going to do a .txt. We're going to do all types so go up here and just click on all types and we're going to name this p1 p1.cnc 
And then what we need to do is we need to save it to that folder that we created, the CF folder in the first open robot. Go ahead and hit save. And then that's the program we're going to be calling. So now what we're going to do is you can close out of this. You can kind of highlight over this and hit control C. And then we'll go into our Automation Studio project and under File Path, or under yep, Path, we'll just paste that. And then just finish that with a backslash. And then the name, we're going to name this user underscore device underscore sim for simulation. This is actually going to point to our that folder system that we created in our C drive, and then it's going to pull that, that G code program so it knows what to run. In the next video, we'll, we'll add another file device, and that's actually going to point to that the the F file, uh, F drive on our actual controller. All right, that's all I want to do, do today. Next week, we'll actually write the main code for the program and we'll actually see it in simulation running. Thanks so much for watching this week, everybody. I hope the video was informative. I hope you learned a lot about the next steps in getting your open robot project programmed in Automation Studio. Next week, we're, we're gonna actually make the main program that we're gonna be calling our G-Code project from, and then we're gonna get into simulating our project. So I hope you enjoyed this week, and I hope you tune in for the next, the next video in this series. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have a lot of other great content similar to this that may be of interest to you, and it will help you out for any future projects, especially if you're utilizing the BNR hardware and software. Have a great weekend, and please stay safe.